Hi there, welcome to today's tutorial on integrating Google Drive with House Pro. With this integration, you can streamline your workflow by easily importing your files and photos from Google Drive directly into House Pro. Let's get started. First, let's connect Google Drive through the settings. Navigate to the settings icon on the left-hand navigation and choose Google Drive. Now you'll see that we have a new screen and you're able to click the connect button up here at the top. Click connect and it's going to bring up your um, Google account so that you can connect your Google account directly. So I'm going to choose my Google account here and then it's going to ask you um, for permission to allow House Pro to access your Google account. So you want to hit continue here to approve that and then you're connected. You can see here that it says disconnect. So if you ever want to come back and disconnect your account, you can also do that here just by hitting the disconnect button. Alternatively, if you've seen the Google Drive um, icon from within a project, you can also connect there as well. So let's go ahead and navigate to a project so we can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna choose the Lester residence here and it's gonna load up for us. And then you'll see that you can easily connect your Google Drive so that you can manage all your files in one place. Um, and from this entry point, you could have also connected your Google account as well. So now let's really dive into things and see how to actually connect a file from Google Drive. So you can do so here from the files and photos um, little widget inside the dashboard, or you can go ahead and go over to the files and photos tab over here on the left and see a more comprehensive view of things. So what you wanna do to upload your first file from Google Drive is just click upload files in the top right and choose from Google Drive. What that's gonna do is pull up the Google Drive account that you've already linked. And you can see here that this is my Google Drive. I have the Lester project um, folder here, and then I have some documents from within it. I've got plans, I have um, some notes from a meeting, I have their original wish list, all of those fun things. And you can go ahead and select what you want to um, add here. So I'm gonna choose these meeting notes, hit select, and now those are gonna be added in. And you are good to go there. You can see that they were added right here. Um, and so you can see right here, this little link icon. So what happens is if you are uploading a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, um, a Google Slide, any of those Google Suite products, those are kind of gonna be a live link for you. So no matter what, if we open these Lester Project Meeting Notes and open them in Google Drive, it's going to be the live version of that. So if you make an update in Google Drive, it's automatically going to be live for you inside House Pro as well. You'll note that for PDFs or say for instance, this Excel spreadsheet, that sort of thing, those won't real-time update because they're not a Google product. Um, but that's something important for you guys to know about. Now let's say that you wanted to upload the entire folder. You can do that as well. Again, just click upload files, choose um, from Google Drive. I'm gonna choose the entire Lester project folder and then hit select. So now it's loaded the entire Lester project folder for me right here. Um, and you can upload that, you can open that back in Google Drive and have access to all of the different files inside of it as well. So uh, really awesome way to kind of link between maybe the offline files that you're not used to keeping in House Pro and but bring them into House Pro so that your whole team, your clients, et cetera, can have access to them in one easy to use place. Speaking of sharing, when you're ready to share specific files with either your client or your subcontractors, you can just choose the file that you wanna share and in the top right, choose the two little people icon and then choose the permissions. Um, so let's say we want the client to have access to this, but we don't really need the subcontractor to. You just change the permissions and then close out and you're good to go. It's important to note that you'll also need to have shared that file with your client from Google Drive as well. So Google maintains control of the actual permissions and access to the document. So you'll either need to have chosen anyone with the link access for your Google um, file or share that with them directly. So what that looks like, let's say, let's go into my Lester project, Google Drive. This was the file we talked about. You're gonna click the three dots, click share, um, and you can either choose anyone with the link access and then in the future, you won't have to worry about any permissions or type in the individual email addresses of the people that you wanna share with. Google maintains control of all of those permissions and so they have to be managed separately. 
But once you do it once, like let's say you share this entire folder, you change this entire folder to anyone with the link access, then anyone that you add in in the future will be able to access it from within House Pro. Um, it's, it's a really great way for you to be able to access all those documents in one place, especially for your clients, for your subcontractors, for your team members who there's documents kind of all over the place. You can put it in one central place so that there's a single source of truth for each of your projects. Now that we've talked about how to upload generic files and photos to your files and photos tab, I want to show you that you can also do it from within your documents. So let's say we are on an estimate. Let's create a new estimate together. Actually, I have one already. Perfect. So we're going to open this estimate here. And if we scroll down where we want to attach files, you can actually do the same thing again. Choose from Google Drive. So let's say on this estimate, I want to include their original wish list. We can put that here. So we're saying, hey, all the items in your wish list are going to be covered by this estimate. You can add that easily. You can see that it's checked once it's uploaded and then just click attach and it's automatically added to your estimate. Again, here, you'll need to make sure that you have that anyone with the link access already set up so that, that your client can view it. Um, but it makes it really nice to be able to just pull those items in directly from Google Drive. And that's it. It really is that easy to connect your Google Drive to House Pro so that you can have everything that you need in one place. If you have any questions or you need any more information, please visit our help center or chat into our team over here in the right hand corner through our intercom system. We'd love to connect with you. Thank you for watching.